Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows 10 21H2, which is the second feature update rolling out for Windows 10 this year, also known as Sun Valley, and that will be rolling out in October or November of 2021, will also be now able to uh, enable HDR support for some of your apps. Now, if you don't know, HDR is a feature available um, on relatively new monitors, and it also enables support for, you know, vibrant bright colors, basically emphasizing the contrast in an image. Now, with Windows 10 21 H2, Microsoft says they plan to offer a, a basically a visual upgrade with HDR support, which means that your apps can now, uh, you know, get accurate color and access the true capabilities, basically, that your monitor can display. Now, HDR support will be added to apps that use the International Color Consortium Color Profile, or, or for short, known as RCC. Now, with HDR, apps will be able to display bright elements, basically, while they still maintain dark shadows across the photo you're editing. So, this is obviously going to be handy in Photoshop. Now, 21H2, Windows 10 21H2 um, will, will not be able to automatically display your apps in HDR. By default, it will still um, use the standard dynamic range mode, which is also now also available in you know, the current stable versions of Windows 10, known as 20H2. So it'll, by default, um, the Sun Valley update will only use dynamic range mode. Now, if you would like to, you know, in enable this feature HDR support in your apps and you have a monitor that is HDR compatible not all monitors are but if you do have one that is HDR compatible you basically need to go to your Windows 10's legacy settings and activate HDR now this is just a screenshot taken from one of the latest preview builds where this this uh, RCC setting has been um, enabled in the one of the latest preview builds of 21H2. Now, to enable HDR support in your apps like Photoshop and so on, you need to close the app and right-click on its icon, and then you need to click on Properties and Compatibility tab, and then you need to select Use Legacy Display RCC Color Management, which is this highlighted option at the bottom. That is new. This doesn't appear in the current stable version of Windows. It's only, um, as I mentioned, this is a screenshot taken from one of the latest preview builds of 21H2. And then once you have enabled that and you know checked the box, then what you need to do if you are um, in 21H2 is you need to go over to your settings, system, display which is you know right at the top which is selected by default when you go to system and then you scroll down a little bit and you'll see a Windows HD color get a brighter and more vibrant picture for videos games and apps that support HDR and then you click on that and you will see uh, that you have a couple of options now obviously I'm not using 21H2 I'm still on 20H2 so I don't have the RCC feature on my system and then obviously my monitor does not support um, HDR so I don't have the option but basically you just go to HDR WC uh, G settings and then you enable the toggle for HDR and with RCC you know enabled in the compatibility mode in 21H2 and your HDR um, mode on then you will get those brighter and better colors with you know a better range across the um, you know apps like Photoshop and so on. So I just want to update you. Just another looks like another little handy feature coming to Windows 10 21 H2. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.